Hey, this is Anthony from Absolutely. Come watch this side and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Knox Hanbury Mark I glove, available at Ribzilla.com. This is the Hanbury. Check it out. Roland Sands, I might be talking to you here because this is a well-executed, retro-inspired glove that covers the details quite nicely. And I'm not calling Roland Sands out per se. Roland, we love you, but this is in that same theme where again, it's retro, it uses premium materials. And I actually like the fact they're using 0.8 cowhide here because it's a bit beefier than we were expecting from what ultimately is a blacked out, retro inspired two to three season hot weather short cuff riding glove. Now, if we look at it, base knuckle protection, accordion stretch panels for a bit of style and function. And if we flip it over, the claim to fame here with the Knox glove is you're getting baby scaphoid protection here. Again, it's not the full race protection scaphoid. What it's going to be is base of the thumb, base or heel of the hand, protecting some of those small scaphoid bones in the base of the wrist. Now, quick note on fitment. If we look at the Hanbury, Fit-wise, I'm wearing an extra large. It equates to about a size 10. I find that I'm about a nine and a half in my gloves. So this guy fits a hair snug. If you use a size chart, you should be fine. It does fit European, so it puts me in an extra large, where for frame reference in something like an Icon or a first gear, first gear, I'd be a size large. Keep that in mind, use a size chart. We'll ship free over 39 bucks. And I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments or questions, your feedback on the Hanbury Mark I. Now, diving into some of the other nuance here. Like the accordion stretch panel at the wrist, allows you to really taper it, streamline it down, adds that great retro feel. But again, it's functional as well. It's really meant for an under the jacket riding scenario. Moving our way up, I will tell you that you can't smell it. smell of vision doesn't exist yet, but this has a great smell and a great feel to it. 0.8 leather feels beefier and more luxurious than we were expecting, again, for a relatively reasonably priced short cuff glove. Moving to the knuckles. This might be where you could dock it a few points and say, you know, make them TPRs, make them blacked out. You could beef up the protection, but Knox has chosen to go with temper foam or EVA foam here. Again, giving you some shock absorption while not throwing off the clean lines of this glove. Mid-digital elastication, capped fingers, which are nice. If we roll our way over to the palm, Clarino reinforcement, but again, you're having the same cowhide here in the palm keeping it nice and soft, but also giving you enough beef to protect you if you happen to go down. Now, areas that I might ding this glove, we've already talked about the scaphoid protection here. I'm actually gonna give it one more superlative before we move into some of the knocks. Up the outseam, fully captured, secondary leather, layer of leather, dual stitched. Like that, they've done that well. It goes all the way down, captures the heel of the hand and the base of the palm as well. That is a well executed outseam. Now, here's where I'm gonna knock it. For this type of application, everyday riding, city riding, commuting, little bit of on the bike, off the bike style, give me my touch tech fingers, even if it's just an index finger so I could use my Android or my iPhone with a multi-touch screen. That would be a nice upgrade. We know it doesn't add a ton of cost to these gloves, but it is a nice feature. The other thing about this glove, even if it's just on the out seam, depending on if you're rocking it with clip-ons, however your riding style, little pop of reflectivity. They could have worked it in. There's no reflectivity on this glove. So other than that, really touch tech, reflectivity, ways they could improve the glove. I would have loved to have seen them worked in, but ultimately from a fit, from a function, from a price standpoint, I can't really knock the Knox Hanbury Mark I. It is a rock solid premium, two to three season warm weather oriented retro style glove. Again, within the Knox line. If you wanna step up to something beefier, check out the Orsa. Now, the next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at Revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews of our Hanbury Mark I. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the Moto universe. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.